Okay, well, let's get started, John. Um, good morning, everybody, and welcome to our second DMA webinar of 2018. I'm your host, Jim Huseman, and uh, presenting our water quality class today is John Emming with Watts Water Technologies. As always, if you have any questions during the presentation, uh, please use the chat feature at the bottom right of the program, and we'll answer each in turn at the end of the presentation. Uh, and as always, I'll send out ASPE CEUs at the conclusion of the class. Um, so yeah, without further delay, I'll pass this on to John. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're going to give you an overview of the Pure Water commercial uh, products, and we're also going to go over the sales tools that we have in place to help support the, the uh, Pure Water commercial product line. <clears throat> so with that, we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, give you a little background, Watts has been in the water treatment industry for over 40 years, uh, both for residential, light commercial, and commercial products. Uh, we introduced the Pure Water uh, line to Plumbing Wholesale in, in the summer of 2011, and um, it encompasses both residential, light commercial, and commercial products. And what we're really focusing on today are the commercial products, and what we want to do is kind of simplify um, the commercial product offering. And we break them really into five separate groups. We have our, our one flow anti scale systems that will go into detail as an alternative to the traditional water softener. Uh, we have our smart stream UV disinfection systems. We'll go into detail on that. Uh, we'll cover our pure water conditioning and, and water softener packages we have, as well as light commercial and uh, large commercial uh, RO systems. And then we have some other uh, custom commercial pieces that we can also uh, uh, create for you guys. Uh, we offer integrated turnkey solutions for just about any commercial application, and depending on the water quality desired, we should have a solution that we can be able to configure for you. Some of the value propositions with the Pure Water Commercial Program, we have the largest breadth of products ever offered through Pumping Wholesale, um, and, and this uh, includes residential products as well. Uh, we're going to go into detail in our one flow anti scale systems uh, for scale control. Um, we have a wide variety of products to meet just about any commercial application or water quality, um, even if it's a very specific or high level uh, quality water, uh, we have a solution for you on that. Um, we have dedicated uh, technical uh, and engineer support just for the water treatment line that's separate from the watch regular line, so you have some, a dedicated team for the water treatment portion of this. Uh, we can get into custom engineering products that we're going to uh, show you a couple slides on here some of the unique capabilities we have when it comes to that. Uh, for all of our products on commercial as well as residential, we have a full engineering spec sheet that are available for each of the products. Uh, we also offer two and 3D drawings for all of our, all, all of our systems here. That I'll show you where to find those on the Watts website. And we also have a full written spec that one of my engineers out of my San Antonio facility wrote for all the commercial products. Here's just kind of a high level overview of some of the vertical markets that uh, that we focus on. Uh, healthcare facilities includes everything from uh, your major hospitals to urgent care, to dentist offices, uh, private offices, et cetera. And typically in these applications, there's a great deal of water treatment that is required, uh, whether it be for sterilizers, parts washers, um, or even just for the regular clinic and laboratories. Uh, it's a big uh, vertical market for us. Schools and universities, um, these, these type of establishments typically have uh, numerous buildings on campus and many math and science buildings where they're required to have water treatment. So that's uh, another good area to focus on. Uh, hotels and resorts, that's, uh, uh, that's kind of a given there. Just about every hotel is going to have some form of skill control or water treatment within the facility. Uh, typically, your larger hotels, resorts would have uh, restaurants or multiple restaurants. They also require water treatment that we could help supply. Uh, you have your standard office buildings. Most of the time there, they're looking to uh, prevent sediment and scale control in there, but we can do much more advanced if needed. Um, and the correction facilities, these are facilities, obviously, that uh, these inmates aren't going anywhere anytime soon. So uh, with the number of inmates that have these facilities, with the showers, with the, uh, the cafeterias and, and the commercial laundry, uh, these are great, uh, great uh, market to go after because uh, they need water treatment. And typically, the correction facilities are, are not in your, your normal uh, municipality areas. They're usually in the outlying areas where water conditions are pretty poor. So we have solutions for that. Here's just kind of a high-level overview. We're going to go through our one-full cartridge and tank system for scale control, our smart stream UV systems, 
Uh, we have backwashing systems that we use at MicroZoo Media for scale control, um, as well as our carbon media for cloning taste and odor. We're going to go through our line of light commercial and, and commercial RO systems so you guys have an idea of the breadth we have on, on our commercial ROs. And then we have our commercial water softeners. For our backwashing systems, we use a media called MicroZ. And what MicroZ is, it's a natural form of zeolite. It's basically volcanic ash that is mined out of the ground at, at, at a particular mine. And we use this for sediment uh, reduction. Uh, this media, um, if you looked at it under a microscope, it has a lot of sharp and jagged edges on it. So as water is passing through the, through the tank, through the media, the sediment is getting trapped on the media. And every several days, that the system will go through a backwash, and this media will kind of scrub together, releasing the sediment, and that sediment gets washed down the drain. Uh, the efficiency of this media, it has a, a micron rating, about three to five microns. So it's doing a very, very uh, good job reducing the heavy sediment um, in the incoming water. We primarily use the MicroZ systems uh, versus cartridge-based because there's less maintenance with the MicroZ. About once every five to six years, you'll need to change out the media. So it's very minimum maintenance compared to cartridges that would have to uh, continually be replaced uh, quarterly or every six months, depending on the water quality. And so the, the MicroZ backwashing systems is much more efficient. Uh, we also have our GAC media, which is granulated activated carbon. And this is primarily used to reduce chlorine taste and odor. You'll find these systems uh, installed in front of a commercial RO system uh, to reduce the chlorine, because chlorine will attack an RO membrane and, uh, and burn it up. So we'll have the pretreatment, typically a microZ system of sediment. We'll use a GAC system to reduce the chlorine taste and odor uh, as pretreatment to an RO system. Uh, our systems come in a variety of sizes, control valves. We have our standard one inch control valve here, inch and a half, two inch, and then we have our three inch uh, control valve. So uh, we have a wide variety when it comes into backwashing. These are the two most common um, systems we have for backwashing. If you have an iron problem, we have another media called Phylox that we'd use, and we can custom design a system for you uh, as well with that. We have a full line of commercial softeners, uh, starting out with our standard simplex systems, which would be this single tank system here. And these are offered in, in a um, one inch up to three inch uh, configuration. Um, we have our twin alternating, and, and this system here is designed to give you 24 seven softened water. Typically a water softener will regenerate like 2 a.m. in the morning when water's not being used. But with our twin alternating, you notice it has two mineral tanks here and one brine tank and it only has one control valve. So what happens is this tank here is in service softening the water, and, um, and then once that tank gets exhausted and it needs to uh, regenerate, the system simply turns the service over to uh, the second tank while this tank regenerates. This way it's providing you 24-7 softened water. We also offer duplex alternating, which works in the same manner, but the duplex softeners are going to be a larger control valve for higher flow rates and backwashing rates, and they require two, two separate uh, mineral tanks and control valves. There'll be a CAT5 communication cable that communicates between these control valves to uh, allow these systems to work in the same manner. And once again, you'll have one brine tank here to supply both tanks. We can get into some custom configuration on, on progressive softeners. Um, and the big difference with the progressive softener is you're going to see for every mineral tank, you're going to have a separate uh, brine tank for that system. And we can configure this as a duplex like this picture is here, a triplex, which would be three tanks, or a quadplex system like this right here. And the reason why we use a separate brine tank for the mineral tank if typically some of our competitors will use one brine tank for this four bank uh, tank system. And the problem is if these tanks need to initiate a regeneration um, sooner than needed, what will happen is you won't have enough brine solution dissolved uh, salt here to regenerate properly. So what's going to happen is you're going to short cycle the capacity of that software. So if this software has a capacity of 600,000 grains, it may only regenerate up to three or 400,000 grains, uh, which is at the full capacity. So that's why we use a separate uh, uh, brine tank for each of our mineral tanks when we get into the progressive. And the way the progressive system works, uh, if you can imagine like a hotel, each one of these tanks has a service flow rate of 100 gallons per minute. Uh, in the morning when everybody's getting up, taking showers, getting ready to start their days, you have all four tanks uh, in service. 
If people start to leave the hotel in the morning and start their day, and the flow rate drops down to 300, tank four here will drop offline. Later in the morning when more people leave, the flow rate drops down to 200, tank three will fall offline. And this is a, the progressive. So what will happen in, in the evening when everybody comes back to the hotel, starts taking showers, go to dinner, and the flow rate exceeds 200, tank three will come online. If it exceeds 300 gallons per meter flow rate, then tank four will come online. And it, it cycles like that uh, continually for the system. Each one of our tanks here, we have capacity up to a million fifty grains, so we can get very, very large systems with a peak flow rate of 1120 gallons per minute with a quad system like this here. We can also get into custom uh, uh, engineered systems, and uh, we can have these uh, softwares and backwashing systems skid mounted where they're already pre-plumbed um, for your inlet and outlet in your drain. Uh, the advantage of this is that depending on your commercial application and the water quality desired, this is really a la carte uh, configuration. You can have a micro Z system here for your sediment, a GAC system of chlorine reduction, and you can have a large duplex water softener. Or you can have a sediment filter, carbon filter, iron filter, um, and then your software. Whatever configuration you, you need, we can create a, as one of our custom systems for you. Uh, when we get into these custom engineer systems, uh, we will definitely be having some dialogue back and forth with one of my engineers to make sure we're, we're uh, sizing the system appropriately and we have the right, um, the right mix of uh, filtration for you, but we do have the capability. We also can create a uh, custom steel tank systems. And the reason why you use a steel tank versus the uh, fiberglass tank is that if you require uh, higher flow rates and higher backwash rates, depending on the media, we'll end up using what's called a uh, valve nest. And these are valves you see here operate similar to what the piston and the, and the valve does on the standard softener, but it's controlled by this control box here. And so it's opening and closing these valves if it's in service or if it's in backwash or regeneration. It operates the same way, but these tanks are much larger that, carry, uh, that hold a lot more media for higher flow rates and backwash rate demand. So uh, we're, we're, we're pretty broad on, on our commercial uh, custom capabilities that we can do for you when it comes to uh, the filtration or, or water softening. We also have a media that's proprietary in what's called OneFlow. And I want to start out by saying OneFlow will not soften your water. Um, instead, we use uh, some innovative technology known as Template Assisted Crystallization, or TAC. And basically what happens with the system, as your hard water um, minerals come in contact with the media, which is your calcium and magnesium, they're attracted to the, the one flow media. Now on the media, you see like these little dimples, like a golf ball, but there's thousands of them on the surface of the media. What happens is that the, the calcium magnesium ions are attracted to the media and they form these mac microscopic nanosized crystals on the surface of the, of the media. As they grow in size, the crystals will break away from the media and they'll stay suspended in the water and they'll flow harmlessly to your pipes, unable to form the hard scale uh, buildup uh, on your pipes and, and heating surfaces. Um, so this doesn't add anything to the water. We're not taking anything out. We're simply transforming the hard water minerals, the calcium and magnesium, into these microscopic crystals. Uh, we've had this uh, technology and systems out in service commercially uh, for nine years now. So this is proven technology um, that, that, that we use as an alternative to traditional water softeners. We sell a ton of commercial water softeners. That's that's uh, the most common uh, filter system in commercial. But we also have an alternative with our OneFlow Any Scale system that um, is an alternative for scale reduction. Now, this does not soften the water. We just simply transform, like I mentioned, the, the, the calcium magnesium ions so they're stable and they can't form the hard scale buildup. And this is just kind of a cutaway of the tank here. So um, this operates in an upflow manner. So we have a simple in out head at the very top of the tank. So water comes in, it comes down this riser pipe here, comes out this collector basket at the bottom, and what happens is when the system is idle, there's no water flow in it, the media rests here at the bottom. As soon as there's flow rate coming through the system, the bed fluidizes, sort of like one of those little snow globes when we were little kids, you shake up, it does the same thing. And what that does, it creates a lot of surface area for the microscopic crystals to form with the calcium magnesium. Nice thing about the OneFlow system, we don't require as much media in these systems as you do a traditional softener with resin because this is an upflow design instead of a downflow. With a softener, you want the water coming through 
this, this media bed would be about half of the tank here, all the way through for the iron exchange to happen to reduce the hardness. With one flow, it's an upflow, so it fluidizes the bed, and then the water comes out the outlet of the tank, and it falls through your pipes down the drain. Some of the benefits with the one flow system, there's no salts or chemicals required uh, like you do with a traditional water software. Uh, there's no uh, there's no control valve required, so there's no electricity. Uh, there's no backwashing or regeneration, so there's no wasted water or drain line. Uh, it's a very simple installation on our smaller commercial tanks. You have a simple in-out head, just like our big tank here on top. Um, virtually maintenance-free, depending on the system that you have or the cartridge base of the tank. The media on the one full black tanks, those get changed out once every three years. And depending on the size of your tank, the replacement media is already pre-measured for your size tank. So it makes it very easy for the maintenance or installer to, to service the system every three years. Uh, this will improve the efficiency in all of your water heating devices uh, downstream of the one flow system. It is a much smaller compact footprint uh, versus traditional water software. Um, very low maintenance costs compared to water software. We'll get into a little more details on that. And it retains the, the beneficial minerals, your calcium, magnesium, in your water. We have several different types of systems. Like I said, the, our cold water tanks would be these black tanks here. And they start out, uh, the smallest tank down here is like 10 gallons per minute up to, up to 30. And then we have two larger tanks that are either 50 or 75 gallon per minute flow rate. And you will simply bank these or manifold these together to achieve the 1,000 gallons uh, per minute uh, plus flow rate. It just depends on your application. You just bank the tanks together. Uh, we also have our, our cartridge one flow systems with the one to four gallon per minute flow rate. You see there's some single uh, cartridge systems with the one flow cartridge. We have some uh, uh, two stage. And the two stage will have a carbon block as the first filter. And that's designed to take out your sediment, chlorine, taste, and odor. And these are typically used as a point of use, like in a commercial kitchen in front of an ice maker or a, um, you know, a boiler plate or beverage machine. Uh, so you have uh, scale prevention plus uh, the chlorine taste and bad orders to re reduce out of your water. Uh, we also have some uh, hot operating uh, one flow tank systems, and these are rated up to 140 degrees, and these are available either 8 or 20 gallon per minute flow rate, which are these almond tanks here. And then the reason why these are, are rated at higher temperatures, so we use a vinyl ester tank uh, versus the fiberglass wound tank, and we have a stainless steel valve on top of some plastic, so it can withstand the higher temps. And where we see these most commonly used are going to be in hospitals, um, in front of like sterilizers, parts washers, autoclaves, stuff like that, in commercial kitchens, uh, or even in, in even in the um, in manufacturing machine shops. And this is just to give you a comparison of our uh, traditional water softener versus a one flow in the space uh, that it would require. Um, I've been in many uh, job sites, and, and space in the mechanical room is always a commodity, and sometimes you don't have a lot of room. Uh, so this is just giving you an example on a 50,000 gallon per day hotel uh, where you'd have a, a, a triplex progressive water softener with your, your inlet and outlet piping up here. You're going to have your three brine tanks. You need to have your storage area for your salt because you're going to need to put salt in these brine tanks on a regular basis. You can see how big of a footprint, 13 by 15, uh, 5 footprint that you require to have a traditional water softener. With the one full system, we simply will use four of our 75 gallon per minute tank systems. And you can see here it takes up a much smaller footprint, only two foot wide by uh, just, just under seven feet uh, in length. So it takes up a lot less uh, floor space in a mechanic room going with a one flow system versus software. Like I said, we sell both systems, and softeners are, are the most common. Um, um, most common filter used for, for scale reduction. We also have our, our one flow anti scale system as another viable option for you. And this is just kind of giving you a return on investment or cost analysis. Uh, with one flow, as I mentioned earlier, there's no salt or chemicals used, so there's no cost there. The one flow system does not require backwashing or regeneration, so there's no wasted water going down the drain. The, the maintenance on a yearly basis is uh, about $5,200. And um, once again, I just broke down the, on those four tanks uh, that I showed you on the previous slide. Those, the media gets replaced once every three years. So I just did four times 
uh, the price of the the price of media, then divided by three, and this is your 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 maintenance costs for the you know over over year over year. Compared to a traditional software, we're going to use almost twenty-two thousand dollars in salt uh, for that year to service it. You're going to have almost twelve thousand dollars in, in cost in water that's going to be used for regeneration and backwashing. So this will give you a, an annual maintenance cost of around thirty-four thousand dollars a year. And so what this chart here shows you is just that uh, the initial purchase price of one flow or commercial software is pretty close to the same price, but it's the ongoing maintenance costs with the, with the one flow comparatively. Over 10 to 11 years, the one flow is going to average you know, around $60,000 uh, in cost to operate, where a traditional water software is going to be over $300,000 to operate that same software for scale control for a 50,000 gallon per day hotel application. So it's a, it's a pretty pretty stark uh, cost in maintenance um, with traditional water software. So there are some big benefits to the to the one flow system for scale control. You know, smaller footprint, the the uh, and then the ongoing maintenance cost is, is a big a big differentiator. So this is just one of our case studies we have for our one flow system. This is a installation we have in Oklahoma at the Fort Sill Army base. And uh, they have some extremely hard water. They have 27 grains hard water. Um, I'm based out of uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and our typical water hardness in Phoenix is around 18 to 20 grains. Uh, and they have 27 out here at this Army post. So, um, and they need flow rates up to 632 gallons a minute plus. So it's kind of hard to see in the picture, but you see these six tanks right here. Each one of these tanks is 75 gallons per minute flow rate. There's actually another bank of six right behind it. So you have a total of 12 one-flow tanks here that achieve up to 900 gallons per minute. Once again, depending on your flow rate, you will simply you know, manifold these tanks together to achieve your flow rate. There's no limit on the flow rate. Uh, the big savings for, for the Army Post there is, one, if we had to put a traditional software similar to the slide you just saw on the, on the casino for the hotel, that commercial software for 900 gallon per minute would take up about two-thirds more of the space required, uh, not to mention, as you see down here, um, is the ongoing maintenance of, of them having to constantly replace the salt, uh, not to mention the backwashing um, that's required for, for commercial software. So we have uh, many other case studies that uh, on our scalesolution.com website you could view um, at your leisure there. So let me go back one slide here. You guys notice this installation has been out since, um, oh, for almost eight, nine years now. And you see uh, this is the extended base right here. Uh, which is kind of hard to see in this image is here's the bottom inlet because remember one flow is an upflow uh, service tank system and the top is your outlet. Uh, last year we introduced our new top mount system that has the in out head at the top, no longer needed the, the extended base at the bottom. And what this does is it just kind of standardizes all of our one flow systems uh, to have the in out head at the, at the top. That makes it very easy for connecting your inlet and outlet uh, feed to it. It also makes it much easier to change out the media every three years so you have one contact point. With that bottom inlet down here, it is a very difficult job to change out the media. Uh, the, on top of the head here, it's clearly embossed on the head, inlet, and outlet. So the plumber should have no problem installing this uh, correctly as long as he can pay more attention to the directions and, and read the head, which shouldn't be a problem. Uh, there's no more the requirement for the extended base for the inlet like we had on the, on the original system. And there's no special tools required uh, for this uh, new top mount design. Kind of getting into our commercial RO systems now. Um, we have many that we that we offer. Uh, I'll start up here in the left-hand corner. This is our wall mount system. Our smallest wall mount system we offer is uh, 150 gallons per day, um, up to 5,400 gallons, which this is shown here. And this is going to be the largest wall mount system that we offer. We have about eight sizes in between that, uh, based on your, depending on your application, uh, we'll match up the RO system uh, to your application. The reason why you choose a wall mount system versus a floor mount, a lot of times, as I mentioned, in a mechanical room or in a restaurant, you just don't have the space, the floor space. So what you do is you mount your RO system on the wall, and then your pretreatment storage will be mounted on the ground in front of it. It takes up a much smaller footprint. After we, if you require a um, higher volume than the a wall mount, we get into our floor mount. These start out at 3,600 gallons per day, and this particular model goes up to 10,000 if you have the six membranes. 
And that's how we achieve the different uh, uh, RO productions by the number of membranes. Um, and so this system here goes from 3,600 gallons per day up to 10,800 gallons per day. Our largest skid mounted systems we have uh, start out at, at 10 gallon per minute all the way up to 120 gallons per minute. These can produce up to 172,000 gallons of RO water a day. And kind of put that in perspective, that's, uh, that's like me filling up seven of your backyard, you know, diving swimming pools every day with RO water with this system. Uh, these systems were typically uh, installed in large hospitals, large manufacturing uh, facilities, resorts. Uh, municipalities will use these large commercial RO systems like this to use uh, to add blended water, RO water to the water source to send water into our homes. Um, University of Wyoming, about five, six years ago, we did a large uh, skid mounted RO system similar to this, a little bit smaller than this. Um, it's about a 40 or 60 gallon per minute system for a new math and science building they had. Um, so we had the pretreatment, the storage to go went along with this with this system. Uh, we just developed a new RO system, uh, and this one is 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 going to take up a lot less footprint and, is, and it's customizable to include some of your pretreatment. Um, we're using eight inch membranes here, similar to the bigger eight inch membranes we we have down here, and then these. Membranes here in the tubes here, there's anywhere from four to six RO membranes. And these here, we have one membrane per vessel. Uh, the other membranes on these smaller systems are only a four inch diameter, where these are eight inch. So these can go anywhere from 20 up to 35 gallon per minute systems that we can create for you. And these will have this big bubble housing here for sediment. It's one large cartridge that goes in here for sediment reduction. Um, we have a UV system. You can kind of hard to tell what's this chamber right here with the black control box. You can put that on the inlet or the outlet of the RO system, depending on the application of water quality. And the reason why you put the UV system on the inlet of the RO system is to remove any microbiologicals that are in the water that could um, um, slime over the RO membrane, then it wouldn't produce enough RO water per day. So you can either put, use it as a post or, or pretreatment on that. We have a chemical injection tank here for scale control. So this system here takes a lot smaller footprint uh, with some of your pretreatment already installed on it. And if you have an application like this, like I said, we'll work uh, with our engineer team to make sure we design it with proper pretreatment for you. And, um, and like I said, it takes a much smaller footprint. This big system down here is about seven feet tall, about five feet wide, about 18 feet long. But this footprint here is about a third less. So it takes a much smaller footprint and includes some of your pretreatment. We can get into, once again, some custom design uh, skid mounting systems. And these systems here, um, depending on the application and the water quality desired, we'll custom design it for you. The system over here on the right side of the page, this is one that we designed uh, last year for one of our customers. And what they had an application, they came to us, a commercial application where they needed to provide purified water in remote uh, areas around the country. Uh, and the water source is going to be all over the board. It could be from a river, it could be stream. Um, and what we did, once again, we incorporated our pretreatment. So this could be uh, anything from a micro Z system, it could be a carbon system, it could be one of our iron phylox systems. You're going to have your, your chemical injection here for scale control. On the back side here, you kind of see it here, uh, right here, that's the UV system to reduce any microbiologicals. And so what this customer required was to be able to drop these RO systems from remote areas. So what we do is we build these systems and then we slide them into either like a car trailer or into uh, small shipping containers so they can drop these containers and trailers off from remote areas around the country. In particular, they were doing a lot of uh, work in the oil fields up through Montana and, and Canada. So once again, on your commercial applications, um, like I said, we don't need you guys to be experts in water quality. Just bring those opportunities to the table. We can help help configure and design uh, a system for you, depending on your application and the water quality that's required uh, for your for your application. There. We have our smart stream UV systems, and currently our UVs on the residential side will start at two gallons per minute, go six, eight, up to twelve gallons per minute. And our C and D series UV systems, uh, we start out at, at 12 gallons per minute, and they go up to 50 gallons per minute. Uh, and some unique features that we have in our UV systems that you typically don't see in the UV market. 
uh, on top here, this blue cap and glow plug here, uh, what that ha what will happen when this UV system is in service, that glow cap will kind of gl uh, glow with a light blue light, letting you know that the system is on and in service. Uh, we have our UV lamps have an RFID tag on it, so it communicates to the control box to make sure you got the right UV system, uh, right UV bulb installed in the system. And it also helps us track the uh, the calendar of how long that bulb has been in service. So it allows you to, gives you an alert when it's time to change it. We offer a lamp dimming feature. Once again, this is a feature that's not commonly found on, on UV systems. When, they're, um, when you don't have any water flowing through here, most UV systems are still at full intensity, heating that water up in the chamber. And on these larger gallon per minute systems, uh, that can be a problem because the first time somebody opens up a tap downstream, it could get hit with a uh, the first sludge of water coming through there. It could be very hot or tempered. Uh, with our lamp dimming feature, what happens, there's a flow meter down here at the bottom of these UV systems. When the control box senses no flow, it, it reduces the power uh, by 48% to, to the system until uh, someone opens up a tap and goes in a millisecond, it's back up to full intensity, and it's treating the water going through. Uh, we have two different types of graphic displays. Our C model has an LCD screen and a couple warning lights on it. Our D series has a full touch screen on it, similar to like your smartphone. Uh, it has a lot of extra features. Both of these systems will have a lamp, uh, total lamp hour indicator, so it's counting how many hours that UV uh, lamp's been in service. Typically on UV lamps, uh, UV systems, the, the UV lamp can change out once a year in the quartz sleeve where the UV light is placed into, that gets replaced every three years. And we have some alarms and indicators to let you know when those intervals are, are required to be changed. Uh, we also have a UV sensor where uh, someone needs a certain, uh, to monitor a certain UV intensity. We have a UV sensor that, 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 that will thread into the side of the, the stainless steel chamber, and you'll have a communication wire coming into the control box so you can tap into it to monitor the UV intensity. And then we also built in the 4 to 20 milliamp output um, we're building in some other features that aren't available quite yet, but we're going to be tying into building management systems uh, to where you can remotely um, uh, view the, the performance and service of the, of the smart stream UV systems. This is just a couple screenshots here from our D series, which will have the touch screen. Uh, when you first turn the system on, it's going to go through a diagnostic and system check, and then it's going to go through a warm up phase, which is about 90 seconds. Um, once it goes through the warm-up and then it's in service, you'll see that this light indicates you're at full strength along with the green bars here, the system's okay. And here's the calendar life. And so what will happen each day, this will count down from 365 down to zero. You get down to 20 days, it's gonna give you an amber light that's gonna light up saying you got 20 days to change out your UV bulb, just as a warning. Uh, you can come down here and you can hit the, 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 the settings button here it's going to give you your lamp runtime and the total runtime of your UV system. And it's also going to give you remaining lamp life, We're counting down in days from 365 down to zero. Uh, if we have a contractor out there that's selling a lot of UVs, we can actually custom program uh, the, the UV systems with his information button. Name of the contractor will pull up here along with the phone number and website. And they have a QR code that you can scan and it'll link it right to their website. Um, if you hit the settings button one more time, it's going to pull up the UV lamp for your particular model UV system and the quartz sleeve. If you scan this, this will take you right to the Watts website where you can find the engineering spec sheets on this. And it tells you what model to order um, here at the bottom as well. You now we can, uh, these UV systems already come programmed in English, Spanish, and French. If there's another language that is required, we can custom program those in those languages for you. Also has an alarm override, so if you get an alarm, you can come, simply come here and hit this button here, and it'll, it'll deactivate it for for a few minutes until you can address the error or what, the alarm uh, that, that triggered it. Um, and then you can hit the home button; it'll take you right back here to this home page here. So there's some unique features we put into our smart stream UVs. Um, we are currently working on our uh, second, our third series of UV systems, and these are going to be going. Uh, we're starting out about 80 gallons per minute, going up to uh, 500 gallons per minute. And those are typically going to be used uh, for large municipalities, uh, large resorts, uh, theme parks, et cetera. And those, uh, those UV systems will be coming out uh, probably first or second quarter of 2019.
if those will have a full line from the residential systems that start at two to 12 gallons per minute into our light commercial systems that will go from uh, 12 to 50 gallons per minute. And then we'll have our larger commercial series that's gonna start out at 80 uh, gallons per minute up to 500. You saw earlier on our commercial RS system, we, we have our big bubble housing, and this is the sediment housing. Um, and the nice thing about the big bubble housing, it's a, uh, it's a nice alternative to the expensive stainless steel housing is for sediment reduction. This, this housing here is a, a glass reinforced polypropylene. It's about 40 inches tall in, in height, and it takes one large cartridge that's about seven and a half, eight inches in diameter. And uh, it has two inch slip fittings, so it makes it very easy to connect. Uh, you can run these in parallel or in series for higher flow rate demands. Uh, the maximum flow rate we can achieve with this system for sediment reduction using our pleated cartridges is up to 150 gallons per minute. Uh, on the bottom of the of the uh, of the cartridge, you can't really see in this picture down here. There are double O-rings here, so you have a positive seal, so the water is directed to go through the through the filter and then out the outlet port here. Uh, we have pleated uh, cartridges as I mentioned for flow rates up to 150 gallons per minute, and all of our pleated cartridges are 100% cellulose free, and that that's important because cellulose is basically paper and high flow rates and then chemicals and, and contaminants in our water a lot of times the cellulose uh, pleated cartridges will break down. Now you have that that media in your in your potable water. Um, so we use 100% synthetic uh, material for our pleated cartridges, and on our five micron up and larger. You can actually take the, the cartridge out and hose it off. Um, you can't do that repeatedly. It's not an infinity filter. You can't do it forever and ever. But if you needed to, to service it uh, temporarily, you could you could hose it off with the hose and put it back in, and it'll continue to work for you. Uh, we also have a, a, a melt blown, uh, a little bit less expensive than the pleated. You, you don't have the same flow rates as the pleated of up to 150 with the with the melt blown, but it's another uh, alternative and basically a, a, a cost savings there. Uh, we also have a pleated cartridge that has activated carbon that's impregnated in the actual uh, pleated material. So not only are you getting sediment reduction, it's also reducing your chlorine odor and taste. And these are going to be available in microns from 1, 5, 20, and 50 for both the, for the pleated and the melt blown cartridge. We also sell the stainless steel housings I mentioned earlier. Uh, these are very common. We see these in a lot of spec work and commercial applications. Uh, these are all made out of 304 stainless steel. They have a single band clamp here at the top for for uh, for uh, positive closure on there. Um, they'll have the inlet and outlet starting at a two inch uh, all the way up to a four, two inch threaded up to four inch flange. Uh, and these uh, housings, depending on the on the size and flow we desire, will take anywhere from four uh, sediment filters up to 22 filters, and they'll be in a round array and they can achieve up to 600 gallon per minute flow rate when we're using our pleated cartridges. We have a knife edge seal on the bottom, so um, the double and open cartridges will have a positive seal, so water has to flow through the, through the sediment cartridges and it can't get bypassed and not getting filtered out. And once again, for these, we're going to match the, um, the housing size and flow rate to your application. That's how we determine uh, which, which housing that you would be required. And like I said, these are much more expensive than the big Baba housing, but depending on your application, this is going to be your best alternative. We also offer a stainless steel jumbo housing, which is similar to the multi rank except for these take one single cartridge, about eight and a half inches in diameter, and they're available really in, in three different flow rates. We have the smaller system here at 50 gallons per minute. The 90 model here is uh, flow rates up to 100 gallons per minute. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 100, and then the, the 170 is up to 150 gallons per minute uh, flow rate. And once again, it's going to have one single cartridge uh, for this. These, on um, this jumbo system here, you'll have your inlet outlet gauges. Um, uh, so you can check your differential pressures when it's time to change. You also have two drain ports here to service the, uh, service the housings here. Kind of get into our, our sales tools to support you on the on the uh, pure water commercial products. Once again, don't need you guys to be experts in water treatment. Just want you guys to be aware that you have a huge resource uh, through Watts and our Watts Rep Agency does and claim when it comes to commercial products. Uh, we currently have two catalogs out. 
this catalog here on the uh, the blue catalog here, this was our general catalog where we had residential commercial um, products in it. Uh, last September, I created a residential only catalog and I pulled the residential products out. I'm currently working on a commercial only catalog and that will be out towards the end of this year uh, with just the commercial products. But for now, you need to use this blue catalog for the commercial product offering and it has the housings and cartridges as well as a lot of the residential products in it, as, uh, in it too. To make it easy for you for trying to find the Pure Water products on the Watts website, if you go to watts.com forward slash Pure Water, it'll take you right to the landing page where the water treatment products are, and you simply look under the category, uh, here's commercial industrial, filter cartridges, filter housings, like commercial RO systems, you know, et cetera. So, we try to make it easy, as you know, Watts, we're in the back rooms, valves, and drains, and about 12 other different product lines. Uh, but for Pure Water, it makes it easy. Just go to watts.com forward slash Pure Water. We have commercial uh, uh, sales brochures for all of our commercial product. Now, this is not an engineering spec sheet, but if you work with any building owners or plumbing designers, uh, this is a nice uh, collateral piece that will help explain what the system is, what it does, um, but it doesn't get into real technical uh, specs on it, but it's a nice sales brochure for that. And these you're going to download right from the literature tab on the Watts website. We have full engineering spec sheets for all of our commercial products, and these are available from the Watts website. Uh, we also have these uh, spec sheets for all of our filter cartridges, our housings, our undercounter RO systems, the point of use of residential systems. So any of our major product lines from Pure Water. Uh, whether it be residential, like commercial, commercial, we have a full engineering spec sheet available from the Watts website. We also have a full written spec for all of our commercial products that one of my engineers has so, and had my San Antonio office created uh, for all the all the commercial products. And this just helps uh, provide a little more value added service uh, to you guys and plumber designers. Um, a lot of the hard work is already done for you. And this is just a simple Word document you download right from the Watts website. This is just kind of a screenshot of the Watts website. I pulled up one of our two-inch commercial softeners. Right here is that literature tab where I referenced the previous slide for the commercial brochures. You simply click on the literature tab here, and it, and it'll take you right to our, our brochures, and you can download them as a PDF um, from right there. But one of the things I wanted to show you guys here underneath our two-inch uh, softener, if you come down here to the resource tab, this is where you're going to find your 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 uh, engineering spec sheet as well as the written spec. It's right here underneath the resource tab. We're adding some additional uh, insulation manuals and other uh, collateral pieces to this resource tab that you'll see come out this summer. We offer uh, two and 3D drawings uh, for all of our commercial products. We have them available in five different CAD programs. Revit seems to be one of the most common that a lot of the engineers and plumbing designers are using where we have it in four of the different CAD programs. Uh, we also have it as simple as a PDF or JPEG. So anybody with a computer uh, or a smartphone sh or a smart device, for that matter, should be able to download th the drawings. And this is just another screenshot. Simply going over here in the resource tab, we have the engineering spec sheet. You're just going to slide over to the BIM tab, choose your model of the softener, and then here's your seven different file formats. With Revit being this, this file right here, there's a PDF and a JPEG. And then you can alternate from this drop-down window here to your 2D front and side view to 3D. And I'll show you a little preview of the drawing down here. You can download this as a PDF or you copy it as a link in an email, send it, send it uh, to where you need it as well. And finally, just kind of recapping here, we, um, you know, we have the <clears throat> dedicated customer service and tech support for Pure Water. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, to make it easy to navigate into the water treatment products, just go to watts.com forward slash PureWater. Uh, once you're there, you'll find over 50 engineering spec sheets and installation manuals we have for our, our products. We have the 2 and 3D drawings uh, that we also uh, have for all the commercial products. And we have a dedicated 800 number just for the water treatment uh, category at Watts, uh, which is different than the Watts regulator uh, customer service or tech lines you would call for backflows, valves, and drains. Um, it's an automatic line, so if you call this number here, it's going to ask you to press 1 for customer service. That's going to ring in the customer service in, in uh, North Andover, in Massachusetts, where our corporate office is. It asks, uh, then they ask you to press 2 for tech services, and that's going to ring into my San Antonio office, where I have two gentlemen 
uh, that uh, that man the lines there. They rings right to their desk, to the desk phones for tech support. And it could be as simple as, hey, I have this application. I have no idea what water treatment's required, or you might have a particular uh, question on a, a certain RO system or software. They can help you with sizing. They can help you with the application. Um, once again, we don't need you guys to be experts in water treatment. Just bring those opportunities to the table. And between myself as a product specialist and manager, um, my tech team, my engineers will be able to help you uh, uh, configure whatever water treatment is required for your job and, and the water quality that's, that's desired. Uh, one of your best tools that you guys have at your disposal um, is our local water rep agency. And this McLean is, is calling you guys on a regular basis. If you have any questions at all, definitely reach out to Jim and his team uh, to help support. But there's a lot of people behind the scenes. That's my customer service, my tech team, me as a product manager. Uh, I got engineers um, just down the hall for my tech guys. So both my tech guys have been in this industry. One's been in just over 20 years, the other one over 10 years. Uh, they have extensive background and training and schooling in water chemistry, water treatment. There's not too much you're going to be able to throw them they haven't seen before, been requested to configure before. If for some reason they do get stumped, they're going to walk down the hallway, and I got five engineers sitting there that have – uh, a wealth of knowledge and experience in water chemistry and water treatment. So you have a lot of support for this program um, and a lot of resources to utilize. Uh, if you add up my tech team, product managers, specialists like myself, uh, my engineering team, we have over 500 years of water treatment. Um, like I said, we've seen just about everything you can throw in water treatment, and uh, we'll be able to come up with a solution for you. With that, uh, folks, that kind of concludes the overview. And I'll kind of open up to any questions you may have, and we'll go from there. Yeah, thanks, John. Um, we did have some questions come through the chat. Um, let's start with the first one. Uh, other than soft water, what is the benefit of a softener over one flow? Is soft water the only difference? Yes. Yeah, with the softener, it does. It goes through the ion exchange process, where it actually removes the calcium and magnesium ions out of the water. So it's soft, that's a slippery, slick feeling you get. With one flow, we leave those minerals in the water, but we simply transform them to those microscopic crystals so they're stable and they're suspended in the water, unable to form the hard scale buildup. One of the other benefits to a one flow system over time, and this is just coincidentally as an added benefit we found over the years, if you have existing scale built up in your pipes, uh, over time, the one flow will help dissolve that hard scale buildup in your pipes and clean the pipes for you. Okay. Uh, the biggest benefit, once again, the softener versus one flow. The one flow doesn't require any salt or chemicals. It takes up a much smaller footprint. There's no backwashing or regeneration, uh, so it saves on cost and water and, and, and salt uh, over time on that. Okay. okay. Uh, another question um, on the water softeners: What is the purpose of a brine tank? The brine tank is your salt storage. So there'll be uh, rock salt or, uh, in, inside that brine tank with water. And what will happen, the water will dissolve the brine or dissolve the salt, making your brine solution. And so when the software goes through regeneration, it draws in that dissolved salt in a brine solution. And that's what triggers the ion exchange process where it's knocking off the calcium magnesium which is the hard water minerals that's collected on the resin and exchanges it for sodium, which is the soft water. Every softer will have to have a brine tank. Uh, that, that's absolutely required, whether it be residential or commercial. And that's what the brine tank is designed for. Okay, and uh, one more. Um, other than waiting three years, how do you know when the media needs to be replaced in a one flow? Uh, typically, uh, the, I'll start out with saying the media doesn't stop working after three years, um, but it slowly starts to degrade after that time period. And so what will happen is it will, it will start to lose its efficiency to manufacture those microscopic crystals. Uh, we do have a, a one-flow test that we can do. It requires a water sample before and after uh, the one-flow system. Uh, but typically, uh, the sweet spot for one flow is at the three-year window. Um, like I said, it doesn't stop working after three years. It just is not as efficient. Similar to, you know, driving your, your, your truck or your car and you recommend change of oil every 3,000 miles, but if you change it at 5,000, it doesn't mean the oil is not working. It just you lose your viscosity from the oil, so it's not lubricating as efficiently 
as it is when it's in you know, zero to 3,000 miles. And one full works in a similar manner. Okay. Well, that's all the questions we got, man. Um, thanks for the awesome presentation, and thank you all for joining us on our DMAU class and for your continued support of DMAU. Uh, our next class will be on uh, June 12th. It's going to be a hands-on class here at Disney McLean headquarters in our wet lab. Uh, it's going to be over automatic control valves. Uh, so, it, yeah, it'll be a pretty good class for that one. Um, hope you can make it out. Uh, but thanks again, everyone, and hope you have a good rest of the week. Thank you, everybody, for your time this morning. Thank you.